Welcome back guys to another commentary with me and Gathering Bard. Very interesting. Well, there's no intentionally feeding, so it's not that interesting. Are you sure about that? Um, did you feed? Uh... You probably fed. I'm, you probably fed, didn't you? Uh... Probably. I'm more interested in watching the mid lane at the beginning of the game, and you're about to find out why. Because I was like, what happens? So we still got my friend Pelvis Presley, who is at work, can't even join us to, in our commentary. Feels bad. But he is playing Zed, and I am playing Warwick again. And then we got uh, Brad as Rakan. <laughs> And we got the duo, hey. the duo dancers. <laughs> Dust it off. I can't believe that's a thing. You can just it's spam dance and it does that. But it's so cool that it's like the only two champions that interact with each other like that. You know they're gonna make one of another pair eventually. Yeah, eventually. And then one or wonder both if are it's gonna, gonna be, be like jungler. In top laner, jungler, top laner, jungle, middle. Because we already have a support ADC like this. Alright, watching mid. Because I am curious. Wait, did I take Courage of the Colossus this game? I think no, I did. No idea. Before I even, like, found out that Wind Speakers is better than Courage of Colossus. Because Wind Speakers is a lot better. Well, I can see why Courage of Colossus is good, though. His knockup and his old. Hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, and face the mountain is okay on him. Oh god, there goes the hammerino. And the ignite. Oh boy, no. That's not good. There goes the flash. And I was like, what the fuck was that? And I see this guy in my jungle, and I was like, <laughs> no! You it's are like, not hello. allowed. You're not allowed. I bet that was awkward for him, too. Oh, it's awkward for me quite a bit. When you flash over a raptor, well, when you tower dive somebody and the juggler's like right there farming raptors, you're like, Oh, hi! That was very nice to meet you. Please don't kill me. Because I think that's happened to me like quite a bit when I played Vladimir. It was hilarious. Because tower diving a cat killer almost died because there's ignite on you and tower aggro, flesh over raptors, meet an Olaf, he's farming them. And just yeah. like ease you, kills you, and just goes back to farming them. Vroom, vroom. Hashtag vroom, vroom. I like how you timed that perfectly well with your Renekton's dashes. Oh, I'm not even watching there. <laughs> I got mine to freely roam the camera. Nice pass. I can see why you get Q at level 1 as well. Look, any time I play, like that one game I play Recon with you, you would not take my heals. Hey, I'm sorry, I'm still used to his little thing to where I have to walk to an ally or just wait and it heals. Mm hmm. Because he's still new. Because I didn't really play him on the PB. I think it was I think that was the time I was playing like here's the storm and trying to get like new people. I 
I don't know, there was just like a long pause of me playing League, cause H1, Heroes, Over, Meme. Overwatch. And then now since Blizzard said StarCraft is free to play, I've been playing that recently. Gonna be playing it until the remastered version comes out. Which I think it's this is summer? I'm not sure. Oh. This fiddle like wanted our butts so much. I see that. I think this is where Zaya starts spamming help. And I'm like, um. You guys are fine? Either that or me. I think you both, but I think she did it more than you did. Nope. Cause I usually, I think, ping like two times, depending on what the situation is. I think I had like 20 seconds on my ult for to being back up, so I knew there was nothing I could do since it okay, was a yeah, 1v3. Is... It was a 1v3, and there was nothing I could do, and my ult wasn't up yet. And by the time you guys got to lane, my ult was up and we could engage. But the Zaya was trying to be the shot caller, and I'm sitting there going, no, you can't be the shot caller of this. I know what I'm doing, and you're trying to get me killed. It feels bad, man. Fiddles is... Oh, this is not looking good for Nathan. Kaka kaka. Oh, but wait! Oh, but wait! The execute and the kill. I was actually sad. Yeah, thank Rakan's gotta be my main support now. He's so fun. I almost feel bad with the Nautilus top because I couldn't really do much because it was Renekton. Renekton could just dash and, you know, stun me and dash away. Y'all have, like, quite a bit of CC. When y'all try to gain connecting, it's just like the damage she'll do isn't enough yet. Yeah, I tried to gank that, but it didn't really work. I don't know, this has to be my favorite support character released. Compared to like, even rework champions. Aw, oh, are you serious? Dude, what? I went to go check Fiddle's blue. He was actually still in the bush. Taking it. So, I went up there to see if I could steal it. He was just hiding in that bush, taking it. And I went to go check. Oh yeah, cause Drain doesn't really show its particle effects if he's in the, um, bush. Oh, I was, uh, I should've, like, That's boarded. kinda like the funny things with Fiddles. Or, like, I think anyone, really. Cause you don't see their particle effects or anything if they're taking blue when they're in the bush. But you do see the health go down, that is the thing. I know, I gotta say, I like, um, the Cosmic does Zaya skin more than Rakan's. I guess because I like blue more than orange, but I still like Rakan's. Zaya still has pretty colors anyway, regardless. I don't know. I think I like Rakan's base skin a little bit better, but I still like the Cosmic one. The Cosmic looks really good on you. I just like it for like the little cloak part. I still love the commentary they both give during the whole entire game. Mm -hmm. I don't know if their backing animation changes if they both have the cosmic skin. Mm, not sure. 
Probably not. I wish they did. That was pretty That's good. That's the first time that happens. I mean, even though you died, you did a really good job with stopping Fiddle 6 ult. See, like that, because the Zaya ulted the need. Mm -hmm. That is what I want to, like, see, like, a lot of Zayas doing now in team fights. Or even just to set up ganks. Well, if they hit level 6. Scratch that. Uh, Too spooky. You guys were... wait. Okay. And poor Nathan. Oh, is he gonna get away? Yes. Wait, wait. Yes, he got away. Don't worry, I saved lives. I don't know, this is like a cool auto attack range on a support. This is where I wanted to try to gank Renekton. Lock, lock, lock. Oh, that push is warded. See, I didn't know that. I was like, it's probably warded. Oh, but that's why I came in through there. Hey, I was actually smart. But there's nothing I could do. Smirked. Oh, uh, they were they were being sweet. I know I might start playing Rakan and Brink if he's not banned There's or picked. Because he it. seems strong though. But not like too overpowered in a way. Because he has good CC, he his heal is kind of on the level of Tarix in a way. He has his shield isn't as good. That's almost like on a Tarix level, but he's still good though. I know I've like played against good Tarix and they just destroy. Oh yeah, definitely. Cause right now I think Tarik and Lucian should be good. And I missed my ult. I was actually kinda sad. Oh, okay. Hmm? Am I gonna get it? Nope. Nope. I'm gonna die. Sadly. Not like these. I tried to bite to see if I could heal, but it was not enough heal. And Nathan in with the kill. Oh, Nathan, why? Oh. It's so nice to like go back into the replays and then just like see where everybody was and then mm -hmm. what what everyone else was doing because like you're not all the time looking everywhere. I mean it's good to have map awareness and still look in other lanes, but you're not constantly looking. Rakan's passive reminds me of like a Malphite passive. Oh yeah, this is where Zaya was like question marking me. She's like, come help. I'm like, there's nothing I can do. Full health, misfortune, everything, my ult's almost up. I, well, I guess you could have tried clearing the minion wave. Maybe. Yeah, but I don't know if that would have worked.
don't worry guys, I'm, I, I'm doing pretty bad and there's two good, perfectly bolts. Take both oh, this I think is where I messed up. In a way. No, no, uh -huh. you. you got the kill though. I slapped a person. <laughs> you whacked them with your wings. I did something. You know, I wish they would bring back Soraka's give mana. Which they probably will never do. <sighs> well, because on the old Soraka, is either a, a point-click silence or point-click give mana to an ally. I think it took from your mana as well. Probably. Or I think it was just like it had a higher mana cost compared to like how much mana it gave back if you did it. I think it was like 60 mana for it. The silence or mana. But it did get like a little bit ridiculous at rank 4 and 5 on the mana giving part. I think it was like a hundred ish mana. Almost 200 at rank 5. It's kind of ridiculous. I don't know, this game was kind of like a clown fiesta compared to the other one. Oh, our first clown fiesta one was very comfy assist. Wonder if people's calm down banning for con so I can play him more today. Probably not. Probably, probably not. Probably, probably not. Not until they get nerfed. No. Rakan I don't think really needs the nerf. And it's as I as I had said, like in the Zaya video when I played ADC, it's that if you're gonna ban one of them and not the other, you better ban the 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 ADC. Yeah, Zaya is strong. It's just I don't know if like it's worthy to nerf them like immediately, like they did with I think what was it, Alawi? Well, no, Alali was a different story. That was kind of s insane healing. Mm -hmm. God, you're talking about Snowball. Damn. Oh, yeah, that's where I messed up. Yep. I mean, we got stunned, though. There was nothing we could do, but again, mm -hmm. we... Into a proto-bell. We went bad. into that. Now I can see why you take either Merc Treads, Ninja Tabbies, or Swifties on Rakan. Over like Mobility, but I see why Mobility Boots is still good in a way. I heal so much when I ult.
I thought face amount would be a little bit better than what I thought. But it's almost yeah. like in a thresh way of auto attacking, but a little bit worse. It's a lot worse. I saw one other person. I take still like it chill. though. Oh yeah, there's that funny little thing. Yeah. Oh, I tried to e on you, but like pathing. There's nothing. There. I was like, please get my red buff. Take it back from Fiddlestick. But no one did. I don't know, they could have like easily won that game. No, because we weren't grouped. Because, like, if they would, like, since, like, I didn't, I think, drew, like, three of us topside. I don't, I think that happens, like, a couple times. I'm not sure. I don't really remember too much about this game other than that I started picking up kills left and right. Like my second game is Warwick, I didn't have as many kills as I did this game I believe. Like I'm 3 and 4 which is kind of bad and I still don't have much items. It's not that bad. And I die again. I hate Echo so much. Oh, that's why, because Zaya wasn't even there with that team fight. I mean, they basically engaged on us and we couldn't really do anything. And this will be their first dragon. Mountain versus Cloud Drakes. You mean Clown Drake? Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Oh, Bradley. See? I was like, what are you doing? Dang, I really feel bad for this Nautilus. Wait, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think I die anymore this game. I think this is where I actually start going on a roll. Brad, you picked hey. up another kill. Kill secured. There we go. 
I got a shutdown there. Yeah, we completely ignored top lane. We're like, yeah, let's just get two towers. Four kills, two towers. Wow, man, we're actually heading gold by a bit. They have, they still have more towers than we do. No, they're ahead just by like two thousand. We're catching up though. Cause like now it's in the point like, yeah, we're next in fed. You just gotta like, I have to like peel for this. I uh, I was so, sad. Like, because of Renekton and Echo. I didn't even get Echo. Oh, but Nathan does get him. Nice. Nice. That was pretty good. Rakan is so much fun. When Rakan is kinda hard to kill if you think about it with all the dashes he can do. Mm -hmm. He's got two free ones to any allies and then he's got his knock up dash. He does have like, in a way, have like a long engage. If he E's to an ally immediately, yeah. W's. Cause there's like no like... I'm trying to put this in a way of like lead turns but I really can't just like in the brawlhalla turn there's like no i think it's active frames in like the or like delay between yeah. the e and w yeah there's like a very slight delay i think it's called active frames in the world of brawlhalla i'm not sure I really love how Nathan always goes into games and he's like, I'm bad at these champions. And then every time he says that, he actually technically carries us. And I'm like, see, you're not bad. You just think you are, but you're not. And this is where we were just trying to run away. I mean, think about it. He fed first blood and now he's 11 and 3. Even and with first blood, you can still like win lane even oh after yeah, that. Definitely. You should have to play it right. It's just Might have to play it a little bit safer, but you just can't there's like be, no hurt in doing it. You can't be intimidated by them having 400 extra, extra gold. Don't Never. let them bully you. You just gotta bully them back. But if they're a cat, that's a different story. I had a game where... My jungler had no faith in me as Lux going into the Hey, that's the, the uh, game where the jungler was like, oh, look. Oh, he was arguing with you. I'm not going to gank yeah. anymore. Yeah. Because we could have tower dived him like half to almost full HP. You want to tower dive them? Okay. We missed that fight so bad. We messed that up really bad. But I didn't even expect the fiddlesticks to be there, either. He's so spooky. Yeah, this is where they get barren. I believe so, yeah. God, now, like, don't remember if we win or lose this. Because, like, at this moment, like, the outer tower, the first, like, towers shouldn't really matter. Redemption to them, has like, a really long range, even when you're dead. Yeah. I think they nerfed the healing and increased... No, I think the cooldown stayed the same. I think it's, like, was, like, 120 seconds. I 
I don't know if you were in the game, but I was trying to like get a pink ward. And I had a shackle stay on the other side of the wall. <laughs> I W'd, then he queued in. I was like, oh no, I think it just <laughs> you baited him. And there you go, I did. <laughs> I feel bad for that shake of And when you debate your own people, it feels bad. I am happy I flashed out of that. We almost lost that team fight again with the same mm -hmm. mistake. But we still lived. Yep. Which is a good thing, because otherwise if they would have aced us, they might have been able to end. Uh, what was the timers at this moment? Like, 40-something seconds? Maybe uh, 50? Or even 30. No, it can't be 30. It's too late in the if game. If it was 30, it's gonna be like high 30s near 40. Yeah. I didn't even look to see Echo's timer. I just saw like at least 20 seconds on there when I looked. But I know it's longer than 20. Because, like, at this point, we should, like, be splitting. Because Zed's a little bit better than split pusher than Nautilus. Because we need, like, Renekton to be out of fights and stuff. Because we can handle Fids and Echo and all the others. But Renekton's kind of a little bit the, I'll on the other this, hand. The only way we could actually win team fights is Renekton being out of the picture and we catch everyone else out. Like mm -hmm. right now. See, Zed, Nathan can actually one shot everyone else. Well, it's kind of a little bit harder to one shot Echo. If he has all. I still say Redemption heals for a whole lot. Well, before the nerf, it used to heal for quite a bit more. I think it's somewhat balanced now. Somewhat. It's still enough to heal quite quite a lot in my opinion. Uh Locket is the most underrated item now. Since it got like nerfed in a way. I don't really think it got nerfed. I think it kind of got like a buff, cause like it doesn't give you health anymore. It still gives you, I think, a little bit more armor, magic resist. It's a lot cheaper to get. Same thing with banner. Doesn't give you AP anymore. That's like the anti-armor. That's like the armor version of it. Like it's the MR. Feels bad. <laughs> Not much going on right now. Poor Brad. Run, Brad! I've been bullied. Yeah, it's a good thing me and me and Nathan didn't die there. Oh, but look! What is this? What are you doing here? Bye! Oh, you're so dead. I love that part. Oh, like, Echo, what are you doing? You can't fight me? And Miss Fortune's gonna die? I just ran into her and bit her. Vroom vroom. That's what I love about him. His scent gives you that extra speed when they're below a certain amount of health.
There's a killing spree for me. Lol, I did flash. You people. Hey man, I told you, after a while I just go all out. Unstoppable. Double kill. Lol. I believe this is where we go barren. Yep. Cause they're junglers down and they only have two people. Well, three now. <laughs> Did you see that echo ult? Mm -hmm. I was like, hello? I'm like Echo, bro. What are you doing? I have, I have might. Godlike. No, I think this was like one of the games that was very close compared to the others. Well, again, as I, you know, like, we just have to team fight without our next in our face. Me. Oh, but I'm just coming in anyway. I love how, like, in the end, near the end of the game, Nathan's like, "Wait, I'm 19 and three. When did I get 19 kills?" <laughs> I was like, you silly, you got like three squishy, four squishies you can deal with. And we did it. And that wraps up another duo commentary session. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you. Hey. See ya.